All right, guys. Um, I'm just about to do a service on this Land Cruiser, and it's been five to six years, I believe, since it's had a service, or actually oil changed. So there's an issue with the power steering pump. I've got a new one coming that's coming in two May, June, July, two months. So. And what uh, mum and everyone has been doing is just topping the steering, power steering um, oil with um, just normal oil, um, engine oil, just to, to keep it going or to have a bit of power steering. So it's leaking. I'll just show you a bit of the engine, what it looks like. So that goes down into the power steering pump. So I'm going to change the power steering pump in two months time, but at the meantime, we're just filling it up with just normal oil, um, engine oil. And as you can see, see, I'm not too sure if that's from the power steering pump or their leakage, because there's oil all over that. On the other side, it's pretty clean. So it's pretty clean on that side. So no, no oil leaks really, I don't think in the engine. I think it's just um, that power steering pump that has been leaking all over the engine. So I'm gonna put 15W40 in, uh, diesel engine oil. Um, this is the only thing I could get close enough to uh, 1550, 15W50 that I usually use. Um, so yeah, and that's uh, Penrite. I usually use Penrite, but I'm over in Tonga, so this is the closest thing that I can um, find. Um, this vehicle has been modified, so this is just a normal HZ, but the mechanic that has um, had it before me or the couple that had it before me, and then a mechanic had it before them, they put a turbo system in, so, and it works brilliantly. Um, the vehicle has been working non-stop without any issues in the engine, so there was a lot of work that was done on this engine. Um, and I had the specs that was done. It was a lot of work. I even put a, a heat exchanger. So what you do is, there's a hose that goes in the front Plug it in. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, plug it in for the outlet, and then a hose just goes into a water stream bucket, whatever you want, and it runs through this while the engine's warm or on, and um, yeah, you'll get hot water coming out. So that's in there. I put the the winch on. So it's been four years since it's a Dominator. It's down there. Um, it's been six years, four, four years, I think, since I put it in. Yeah, I got stuck uh, up there. I was actually coming down through the bush, coming through, and I got stuck in behind there. Uh, what it was, I thought it was my truck going, oh, it's gutless, it's got no no talk, but I was actually on a massive coconut stump. So I ended up bringing out the winch and um, pulling me out. I, I was hoping it would work and, I, and it did. I ended up jacking the car up in three places and putting uh, max tracks underneath and one that still didn't work. And then ended up with, a, with the, um, what do you call it? Um, the winch and that winched me out and it worked. So I was like, oh yes, amen, awesome. So they got me out. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna be doing today. Hopefully everything goes well with this change of oil. I know it's been way overdue, so, and I can't believe it's running as good as it is. I know Land Cruisers, Toyotas, these 1HZs, beautiful engines. The 1HD, 1HT FTE, I've, I've got that in Australia. Actually, it, um, my daughter's got that now. Um, brilliant engines. I've got the old six with a 2H engine over there. I just need a wheel bearing for the back wheel. And 
and hopefully I can get that going. So, yeah. So I'm going to do this, get this done. I did have a big day yesterday with the wife and cutting the front. We uh, made the front, oh, we whipper snippet in there behind the container and whatnot and we cleared out the whole front, pulled out all the wire, the barbed wire ready for the new fence. And that's just this part, goes all the way down to the, those last coconuts down there. So, and it goes all the way to those coconuts at the back there. So I've got to fence the whole front and right around the, so we just whip a snip at this. And man, poles are all everywhere. And orange tree, mum said. So these poles are lying all in it. Also, there's wire right through that I have to get out. So there. And that's the start of it. Goes all the way back there. And it is a mission. So there is vanilla in here. See that? growing but not too sure we're gonna stop here for now and just keep this clear for now and focus on the back there with mum's vanilla clear all that up first because it's a bit easier then we'll figure out how we're gonna tackle this thing it's gonna be bit by bit maybe take a whole year to six months maybe plus working on the house Maybe a year, I reckon, to tackle this. Because we've got to take out all the posts, all the wires, all tangled. Um, yeah, mission. Anyway, so yeah, we cleared all this out. We burnt this a little bit easier. And we cleared all that up. And cut it all. Took all the coconuts, there was heaps of coconuts. So I took that to the back for the chickens. All right, guys. Um, oh yeah, as you can see, haircut, bit of a clean up. It's been a while. Oh, actually, clippers that have been in the sink or in the, the bathroom for four years, four or five years. Pulled them out, a bit rusty on the blades. And I uh, oiled them up, cleaned them up with soapy water, oiled them up, and away they went. So that's why I've got a haircut. I went and bought um, some Chinese ones from the shop. No good. Just pulling on your hair. It's a plastic blade. I couldn't believe it's a plastic blade. But anyway. Here we go. One of the first things I'm going to do. First of all. Oil change next. Oh, the plates come off. Better sort that out. Next, I got um, bought some shocks and modified modified plate. Bought some shocks because one of the shocks are busted, so I had to take one of them off. So it's only running on one shock on the back. Shocks on the front are fine. Um, gonna so I bought those, but uh, Dorothy's got them over in Australia, so hopefully she can send them over as soon as she can. Um, then we can um, get this sorted, a little bit bit by bit, fixing the truck. I took the jaws out, so we can fit a lot more stuff in the back with the seats laying down and, and that was awesome I could chain just in case I need to pull someone out diving gear just in case weather is good this trailer I'm actually using for now for the tin and once I put the roof on finish putting the roof on I've got, oh yeah, the other thing I've got to drill. And in, um, at Mele's shop down in Ohonua. So she had a drill, so that's good. 
and um, I'm able to um, get the roof sorted. So yesterday, big day. Thinking of doing the roof today, but oh, I'm so tired. So I'll just um, do the truck, bits and pieces. I've got to fix the handle as well. And yeah, that's it for now. Probably the handle and the oil change for now. And we'll see what the rest of the day has for me. See how I feel, you know, you just got to go with your feel of your body. See, um, see what you can, you're able to do. See what I'm capable, capable of. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys. That's it for now. Catch you later. Eh?